What's going on guys? Chad here again with another product review. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Dapper Yankee Bar Soap. And I'm going to be doing it here with my wife, Tara. It's always good having her with me with my reviews. So we're going to go over three different scents that we have right here, right after this intro. Video, we're going to be going over three different scents from Dapper Yankee, and they're going to be Humidor, Rodeo Man, and Game Day. Let's go over the company's information. Christian is the CEO, and I have had a chance to talk to him a little bit about these uh, bars of soap, and he seems to be a pretty good guy and has graciously sent me these three bars of soap. I believe Dapper Yankee is based out of Newport, Virginia, and he is from Ohio. So my wife is going to start out with Rodeo Man right here. And as you see, it's practically gone. Uh, we do still have a little piece left uh, that I was able to pull out of the shower for her to kind of remember what it smells like. So um, this has lasted a good three weeks, uh, actually probably about a month. It's lasted quite a while. Um, and I have really grown to really enjoy these bar soaps. Mm -hmm. This smells really good. Um, the scent profile on this is, um, it has notes of bay leaf, fir needle, cedar wood, bergamot, and tobacco. And it smells real good. It's not really, really strong like some of the others, but it's strong enough to where you can smell it. It's, what do you think about that? I really like it. Obviously, you can see yeah, it, it this is what's good. left of it. I do have a lot of bars of soap that I have used and have reviewed. And this one is really, really, really good. Um, it says that the bar is infused with sea salt and kaolin clay to provide loads of lather. And it lathers up really, really well. Um, I really have it grown to enjoy this. Uh, I do like tobacco scented uh fragrances and this one is no different i love it i love the bay leaf the fur needle um, the cedar wood it's all manly and that's probably why they call it rodeo man it almost feels like you could be a cowboy at a rodeo yeah. you know it's just rugged like it's manly if you want to feel and smell like a man you got to get rodeo man mm -hmm. super super good stuff right mm -hmm. here and we'll get into the pricing here in a little bit but this is rodeo man Good stuff, guys. The next one we're going to be talking about is humidor. And you guessed it, it probably smells like a humidor full of fresh cigars. So my wife will smell it. She'll give you a sip profile and we'll go from there. So I'm not really smelling like a cigar in this, but I really like this one. I like this one. Not that the other one was bad. It was good too, but I like this one better than the last one. Um, scent profile on this, guys, is warm, sweet, and smoky notes of vanilla, patchouli, and sweet pipe tobacco. And you don't need to be a tobacco aficionado to appreciate the unique, distinct, and aromatic scent of a fresh pouch of pipe tobacco or opening a freshly stocked humidor. This, guys... It is good. It's now, stronger than the last one, too. It, it is. This is really, really good and manly. This is just... It's hard. It's really hard to explain. It's really, really good. Um, I do know that um, the only reason why it's not used as much as the other one is because I started on that one and I've moved to this one. And so I still haven't finished this one yet. I'll get back around to it. I might clean my ear off or something with that one. Uh, but this one, as you can see, I've used, uh, used quite a bit. So this is kind of the, you'll see a freshly boxed uh, soap here that I have not used yet because I'm still using these. But these work all the same. They lather up the same. 
So we're going to get into the smell of this one and we'll be able to tell if we're going to really, really like it just by the smell. Because if the smell smells great, uh, we're going to know it's really good soap because it lathers up really well. And if you use a loofah or not, it lathers up great. And the scent, uh, it doesn't last all day. Obviously, it is a bar of soap. It's not like it's alcohol, you know, that you're spraying on your skin or anything like that. Um, but it lasts a good, I don't know, you can still smell it on your skin 20 minutes to an hour after, you know, a lot of people don't want to have that smell all day long on their skin because maybe they're wearing fragrances, you know, they're working in an environment where they don't want to smell like this all day long. I know a lot of doctors and nurses, they don't wear fragrances to work for certain reasons. Uh, this might be a great option for you, but even if you do like to smell really good all day long, this is still a great option because this beats Dove. I'm sorry. It beats Zest fully clean. <laughs> it beats, you know, you name it, Dial, cheap soap that you buy at Walmart. You know, if you buy bar soap, you might as well spend a dollar to three dollars more and get something that's good quality. You know, it's going to be really good on your skin. It's going to nourish your skin. It's going to be safe with your skin. It's not going to break you out and you get to pick your scents. You know, you could pick from a whole line of scents on these and they will ship them to you and they'll last you a good three weeks to a month, depending on how you take care of it. I have mine that I put on a stand that um, helps soaps to last longer. And I'll drop in the comments below where you can find one of those, a link. But uh, this guy's humidor. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cannot say enough about this one. This one, guys, is something that you have to get your nose on and try it. Put it on your skin. I'm telling you, you will thank me later. And your wife will thank you later. All right, let's go over the last one. It is game day. Game day. I think one thing I like about this one is... Check that out. Isn't that cool? That is pretty sweet. That is cool. Well, that's a full size one right there as compared to some that we've already used here. Um, and this smells good too. Really, really clean. Yes. This smells like a game day. This smells just like you got done playing football, you know, when you're sweating and you feel like you had your socks on for a whole week. And I'm just kidding. No, I'm completely I'm joking. Completely joking. Not even close it to that. Smells it good. smells really, it really does. good. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. It is, I like it too. And it doesn't really say what the profile is other than touchdowns, a sweet smell of victory for a team that calls Columbus, Ohio home. But you can get that for $8. Um, these yes. first two that we talked about, um, the Rodeo Man and the Humidor, um, you can get those for $7 each. So $7 and $8, as she said, for this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can give you a discount code if you want to save some money on some of these bars of soap. So $7, $8, guys, really, you know, that's not that much money. I could be wrong, but I think the shelf life on these are up to a year, 12 months. It could be a little bit longer. If you can give this video a like, I'd really appreciate it. It does help the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you a part of this community and hit that notification bell so you are up to date with all the reviews that I'm posting on this channel at all times. So to end this video, between all three, we're gonna ask my wife, what is your favorite? From one to three, one being the best, go ahead and rate these. They're all good. I will say that they're, they are all good. Um, close, but I would say this one, which was the humidor, is probably my favorite. Right close in line with game day. Game day has a strong, I, I'm sitting here and I can still smell it. I'm getting close to it. It smells good. This is unique. This is something different, and I really like it. It's a good smell. This is good, too. 
they're all good. You can't really go wrong. So I would say number one, number two, and number three. You can't really go wrong. Which really, really, really surprises me because I thought for sure this was going to be number one or two. For sure number two. <laughs> for sure. So that just goes to show you how good game day is. And so she is probably ready to go steal some of this from the shower. It might become my number one. Now, if I start noticing that this bar of soap is shrinking faster than it should, I'm having a conversation with this woman right here. So anyways, guys, I'm sure we'll be picking up some more of this in the near future for sure. But as I said, go ahead and give this company a try. Check it out. Save some money with this discount code I'll give you. and. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've tried Dapper Yankee and what other scents that you could uh, let us know about. What works for you? What what smells really good to you? What scent? I would love to check it out. I know they have several different scents, so you can go to the website. I believe it's DapperYankee.com. Also, we would like to add that this company also provides beard care. Also got like a balm and oil and soap kit together. I believe they call it a beard care kit and uh, they also offer shave oil as well one thing that i thought was kind of cool that this uh bar soap right here rodeo man that we really like here they also have a balm in that so i thought uh man that would have been probably cool to check out the oils and the balms in this as well but uh maybe i'll get some sometime i see that they had a you said that they had a blueberry bar yes soap. yes that would be really cool to that, check out yes and you know i will say this that that was one of my picks that i was gonna have and i changed it last second to these but we are fans of blueberry mm -hmm. i know i love blueberry coffee i know it probably sounds weird to some people blueberry my, donuts. i like blueberry donuts i like blueberries in general they are a nice brain food my kids like uh, blueberries so Maybe we'll get the blueberry soap and check it out. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and stay to the end. And we'll catch you on the next one. See you.